we have basically two main types of the camera shake blueprint. First, I want to show you the sequence I created. This is really nice free environment, the museum, and as you can see, it looks okay, but I want to make it more realistic. So right click in a folder, select the blueprint, type shake, and we start with the camera shake base. That's the first one I want to show you. Let's call it shake base 01, double click, it will open our blueprint. Here you will see camera shake pattern. So we are going to select the Perlin noise. Okay, cool. Now you will see a lot of options. Obviously always compile it safe. Once you change any settings, first we start with the timing. So you have the duration for your shake. You can change it to as many seconds as you want, but if you select zero, it will be basically infinite. So let's compile and save. Now let's add it to our shot. Select camera actor, click the plus, go to the camera shake and select our camera shake. That's it. Extend duration of our shake. And now we're going to test different approach, okay? So let's start with the location. Let's play our shot and change it real time. So here you have location amplitude and location frequency. It works for each of the axes separately or you can also change the whole settings like a master one, okay? The best idea is to test different type of the settings. As you can see, if I select Z axis at 20 and frequency maybe 50 even, it's pretty much visible how it affects our camera behavior. Okay, next one is rotation. At random, it's set up at zero. Let's try five. You have pitch, yo, and roll. Obviously, you can control each of them as a separate value. And the last one is FOV, let's try 5, I want to show you how it works, but before I change the timing to 5 seconds, okay, let's take a look at our shot, because before we had 0, which was infinite, now we have 5, let's just change FOV to 5 as well, yeah, should be fine, and now we're going to change duration of our shake base inside our shot, so it will be 150 frames, which will be 5 seconds. Okay, as you can see, our camera shake stops after seconds number five. So let's just compile and save. That's the one of the type. And let's create the second one. Go again to the blueprint class, type shake, and this time select legacy camera shake. Okay. Let's name it shake legacy 01. Here you will see the oscillation settings window. So that kind of the shake works a bit different. It all depends what kind of the behavior you want to create for your camera in your shot, okay? Also, you can select it here inside the sequencer. If you go to the properties, you can select another shake class. So now I change it. Let's just extend it for the whole shot. Again, let's just play it and let's try the oscillation duration. We're going to leave it to zero as it's going to be infinite, similar way like before. And we can change the pitch. Let's go with the amplitude like 20. Let's go something really high so we'll see the difference, okay? And again, you have the frequency option. So. Obviously, if you increase the frequency, the movement will be faster. And one more thing, there is the waveform you can select. Standard one is the sine wave, and probably most of the time you go with that one. The same stuff we have with the lock oscillation. It controls the behavior of the X, Y, and Z axis. Okay, let's try maybe 10 and frequency something like 0.5. Should work, it's really cool. Okay, just reset the setting. And again, FOV, oscillation, 
very similar like before. Let's try maybe 10 just to see results and we need to select frequency. Five will be a lot. So as you can see, that's the way to create your camera shake blueprint inside your shot. So you don't have to change the transform of your camera manually. You can have it inside your blueprint. You can save it. You can control it in every your shot. Okay, let's just have fun maybe with the roll a bit. Compile, save, job done. Everything works perfect. So that's it for this tutorial. See you in the next one. Check out our other quick tutorials and I really appreciate your likes and subscribes. If you want to learn more, head over to the 3D College page for our full Unreal Engine courses.